Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you enjoy watching adorable guinea pigs, learning how to care for them, seeing product hauls or reviews, and anything else guinea pig related, please subscribe and turn on that notification bell to never miss a video. Hello piggy people, so today's video I'm going to share with you 10 facts about skinny pigs. In case you didn't know, when I first started out with owning guinea pigs, that is all I had was actually six male skinny pigs, and then slowly but surely the furry pigs invaded. Fact number one, skinny pigs are hairless because of a recessive gene. Fact number two, skinny pigs can live with furry pigs. Skinny pigs are the same species, just a different breed. All of their basic needs are the same, but they do have some specific requirements that differ from furry pigs. Fact number three, skinny pigs eat and drink more due to their high metabolism. They burn calories way quicker, trying to maintain their body heat. It would be safe to say that a skinny pig eats two to three times more than your regular furry pig, and I can have a skinny pig finish almost an entire 16 ounce water bottle in 24 hours. Fact number four, skinny pigs poop and pee way more than furry pigs. So because they're eating and drinking more, they poop and pee so much more. You probably need to tidy up their area two to three times more than you would for your furry pigs. So just be ready for a big mess. Fact number five, skinny pigs generally only like to be pet on their snout, their ears, and kind of their shoulder and their neck area. I find they do not enjoy being touched down their body. Some will tolerate it, but you can definitely tell that they're recoiling. I imagine it feels kind of funny. Fact number six, skinny pigs have very delicate skin that is protected only by their natural skin oils. This means they need to be staying out of direct sun and bathing them should only be done if needed, which I find to be extremely rare that they need a bath. Wiping them down with coconut oil is a great substitute if they are experiencing oily skin buildup or a touch of dry skin. A great rule is to leave them be if their skin is looking perfect. I have several skinny pigs right now who I do not touch their skin whatsoever and it stays perfect. Fact seven, skinny pigs need to be kept warm. So unlike furry pigs, they do require a bit warmer temperatures, ideally around 72 to 76 degrees. Skinny pigs are gonna greatly appreciate having a warm fleece bed to go into, possibly having a heating pad under their bed, or I always have a portable heater in the room to ensure the temperature is staying just perfect. Fact number eight, skinny pigs can scratch themselves easily or get marked up from cage mates easier since they have no fur protecting their skin. After nail clipping, it is a great idea to gently file their nails down so that when they naturally give themselves a little scratch, they're not doing any damage. During introductions to other guinea pigs, it's imperative that you act fast if fights break out as the damage to a skinny pig can be severe. It is natural for them to get superficial marks here and there during initial introductions, but this should not be something that continues day-to-day -day life. If your skinny pig is always getting marked up, I'd be reconsidering the bonds that you have. Fact number nine, skinny pigs nowadays are just as healthy as furry pigs. So back in the day when I first started getting into skinny pigs, you would often be told that they have shorter lifespans and were extra illness prone. But thankfully, due to strengthening their bloodlines with crossing them with furry guinea pigs, they are just as healthy and strong nowadays and can live just as happy, healthy lives as a furry pig. Fact number 10, skinny pigs can change how much hair they have throughout their lifespan. Often they are most fuzzy when a teenager and the least fuzzy as a senior. For example, Angus will be very fuzzy at times and then he naturally loses hair slowly and looks way less fuzzy. It is absolutely natural and normal for them to vary how much fur they have at certain points in their life. And all skinny pigs are hairless differently. So some are very strictly only on their feet and snout. Others have hair throughout their body.
They're so cute. If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!